Dopamine is a chemical in your brain that it uses to send feel-good messages between nerve cells. When we accomplish something, learn something, or discover something new, we get rewarded with dopamine. That good feeling makes us want to accomplish more, learn more, and discover more. This is called the reward circuit, and it's kept us humans alive as long as we've existed. Our brain's pretty clever, right? Having the right amount of dopamine is important for the body and the brain. But can there be too much of a good thing? Too much dopamine makes us more competitive, more aggressive. It can make it harder to stop ourselves from saying or doing things we wouldn't normally do. Before technology, people got dopamine from simple things like eating, drinking water, and socializing. Doing stuff that kept us alive felt good. But now that we know about dopamine, we're able to design ways to get more of it. Almost everything we see on computers, phones, televisions, and gaming systems has been designed to give us dopamine rewards, which keep us interested and on our screens longer. Like video games and phone apps, they're designed to deliver lots of dopamine rewards to make them more fun to play. And it works. So is that bad? Well, it can be. Playing certain kinds of video games, like ones where you collect items as an ongoing reward, or in a metaverse with no clear levels or stopping points, gives constant rushes of dopamine as a reward for accomplishment, discovery, and newness. Sounds fun, right? It is. But. When your brain gets constant rewards, it starts to need more and more dopamine to feel good. And then playing the game becomes the only thing that offers enough dopamine for us to feel any good at all. Our brain will stop wanting to do anything else. Sound familiar? Do you ever feel angry when screen time ends? Or you can't seem to think about anything but your favorite video game? It might be because of a dopamine overload. So what can you do if this happens to you? Easy. Take a pause from gaming and give your brain a break. Play with friends, draw something, pet a dog, run around outside. Maybe even go wild and drink some water. Just being aware of what your brain needs is powerful and puts you in control. You can choose to stay away from certain games or set time limits to help keep your dopamine levels steady and, and your, your brain, brain healthy. healthy.